Hello everybody and welcome back to Hypixel Skyblock. In today's video we are going to be looking at some ways in Hypixel Skyblock that you can make a ton of money. This Hypixel Skyblock money making method is pretty similar to some videos that I've published but I left it out of those videos because I wanted to make an entire video on it because there's actually a lot of ways. Let's get into the video. So this very heavily involves the bazaar and of course very heavily involves the auction house and this is craft flipping. So with crafting and craft flipping in Hypixel Skyblock, you're going to want to buy an item, use it to craft another item, and then resell that item to the auction house or the bazaar. And this can make you a lot of money because honestly, Hypixel Skyblock players are pretty lazy and they don't enjoy doing what they could do for themselves, but just don't feel like it. And that includes recipes that they either don't have, don't know they have, or don't know exist at all, and will just buy the item without even looking in to how to get it. And this actually happens way more than you think, with items that you might be surprised by, like the grappling hook. People just have the grappling hook. They buy it from the auction house or get it dropped to them really early in the game, and they just don't really know how they got it, and they don't know how to craft it, and just people are constantly buying it because also, honestly it's awesome, but they just don't know how to get it. So let's get into just some easy ways that you can do this. So the most important one is buying stuff from the bazaar, like in the case of the grappling hook, you'd be buying string, like you'd want to buy three enchanted spring and two sticks. And a mod that's really useful for this is NEU, because as you can see, it tells me the exact price of all these items. So for example, the grappling hook, lowest buy now is 6,000 coins. But buying one enchanted string on the uh, bazaar is really, really not that expensive. Like let's say I want to buy three enchanted string, which is what I need for that. One, two, three. That cost me 4,500 coins, something like that. And then I also just need two sticks, I believe it was. That's basically a neg negligible cost because, I mean, they're sticks. They don't cost very many coins. So, boom, let's make our sticks and we can make a grappling hook. And you'll see, once we do that, boom, we basically just doubled our coins. Like, it's it's really, really easy to make a lot of money doing this. It, it's not that hard, and it's just super simple. I really recommend any of you because you find something on the auction house with a recipe, and then you're going to want to press the R key. So let's say, for example, it is these talismans. If you go to lower price talisman, like the zombie ring, you can press R, and it shows you you need the zombie talisman and revenant flesh. And you'll see lowest buy now for the zombie ring is 12,500 coins. Uh, but the zombie talisman, really does not cost that much to make. Zombie Talisman costs 247 coins on the Ogden House. And, you know, Revenant Flesh, to buy the all 64 is basically like 32 coins. It, it's less than that, just it doesn't display on any of you because it's so, so cheap. So using the R key can actually be really helpful in just telling you what uh, it costs to craft things. It's really helpful in just showing you the recipes, and I highly recommend using it for this strategy. Another thing that's popular is just craft flipping from the bazaar to the bazaar. And there's actually a really useful website that shows you how to do this, and it's called bazaartracker.com. We're on bazaartracker.com, and we're on Top Crafts on the homepage. To get to Top Crafts, what you're going to want to do is just press Top Crafts, then press View More. And now you can see, let's say, Enchanted Golden Carrot. We get a profit of 13.9%, 70.5%, 0.4%, 40.7%. And these are recipes that just, if you have them, you can make some easy money crafting them. So craft flipping can be really profitable in Absol Solbach simply because people are lazy. So if you're not lazy and you want to get some free coins, I highly recommend you try out this method because one, it's free, two, super easy. You probably have a lot of recipes, especially if you're even just like a mid-game player that has had a bunch of minions down in the past to try to get your collections up. And it's just really easy and really nice and gets you some free coins. So I highly recommend you try it out, but Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe, goodbye.